Hi, and welcome to a new video on Image R. Today I'll show you how I engrave slate on fiber lasers without losing detail or causing overburn. I'm using a 60 watt JPT laser from OMG Laser. The link is in the video description. Let's start. First, go to image r.com and upload your image as grayscale. My slate is 30 by 20 centimeters, so I resize the shorter side to a little more than 200 millimeters to make positioning easier later. For DPI, I use 423 on my 60 watt JPT fiber laser with a 300 millimeters lens. Next, I use one touch, but I disable sharpen and denoise in the drop down menu. As you can see, this optimizes shadows and lighting. Then, run color correction. It automatically lifts very dark areas and reveals hidden details. For material, I choose Kazia Black Slate. That's personal preference. You can use any algorithm. They're all great. Because the slate is black, the algorithm will automatically invert the image so it engraves correctly. Don't get confused. It has to be inverted. Otherwise, blacks will turn white and vice versa, ruining the result. Download the image as a PNG file. After the download, upload the prepared image again. Click the crop button and switch the measurement to millimeters. Drag the crop area to 300 millimeters, so the final image is a little over 200 millimeters by 300 millimeters. When cropping finishes, click download and save it again as PNG. That's all we need to do in image R. Import the file into your laser program. For slate on the JPT laser, I use 1000 millimeters per second, 18% power, 100 in frequency, and 400 in Q pulse. Most important, enable the pass through option. If it's off, the software will process the already prepared file again and ruin the image R preparation. Let's run the job. We use low power so we can engrave multiple times. I also switch the angle on every pass. One pass normal, one pass at 90 degrees. You can hear when the laser is hitting the surface. After a few passes, I usually do four to six. The sound gets quieter and the image barely changes. That's the sign everything is engraved properly and the details are locked in. When it's finished, use a soft brush to remove the dust. You'll have a clean, beautifully engraved slate. No lost details, no weird spots. You can push the result even further by sanding the slate smooth, but for this piece, I preferred the original rough look. I'm really happy with the result, and I hope you try these settings and multiple passes as well. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, see you soon, and have a great day. Bye.